Bit of a slow game this one so far, and again, whoop, danger close. Where is he? There he is. Hi guys, Fanby with you, and welcome. Welcome back to the channel. For those who have been with me before, uh, welcome back. If you haven't been with me before, well, welcome to my corner of the internet. It uh, really is great to have your company. I really do appreciate it. What we're doing today is just a bit of a playthrough in here in World of Warships. And I thought I'd just play through. I often get asked, uh, what ships do you play? So I've got uh, a number of ships, both uh, through 1 to 9. A lot of ships through from uh, Tier 1 to Tier 9. I thought we'd do a bit of a playthrough from tier one to tier nine and starting off with uh, tier one black swan just running through some stats here some very basic stats they'll get more and more better as we as we get up into the better tiers but uh, survivability for this um, for the black swan at six artillery at one a eight two very ordinary uh, stats to begin with but you'd expect that from a, a tier one ship a maneuverability 28 and concealment 86 so very well concealed but the artillery is a very ordinary deer but which you would expect that from a a, a tier one ship so we'll see whether we actually get a game today whether there's anyone playing on a tier one ship uh, this morning uh, we'll see how much of this actually gets put into the, the, the final cut how much I need to edit out and do it depending on uh, how long it takes to load in and whether it's a, a quick loading in or um, I'd prefer games to go down this road to be honest and to, um, to have it free to play to get the people in and then uh, have um, what a lot of people call microtransactions to 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 oh it looks like we are getting a game and uh, to have the the, the small uh, upgrades and you pay real money for those upgrades so and, and i think that's not a not a bad thing at all you know first let's get people in the door and then uh and then then basically then take their money so yeah look we're only 4v4 which is which is not a bad thing uh look don't expect any great gameplay from me uh, as i said i'm not one of those uh AAA players or uh, uh, community contributors or or, or, or or a grand tester look I'm, I'm just an ordinary old player um i play with a gaming community called ages 7 uh the links will be in the description of this video in the uh, in the down below area uh, if you're interested in, in hanging out with us, uh, not just in warships, but uh, in a whole bunch of other games as well. So, uh, ages7.com will get you to our jump page. And, um, yeah, come and check us out. Jump on Discord or Teams, TeamSpeak. Uh, there's a website there. So, uh, look, we're, we're probably, uh, I want to say, 500 strong. Um, something sort of in that that, that sort of genre. Uh, look, we've got some regular, uh, quite a bunch of regular streamers, both uh, YouTube and and uh, and and, um, and Twitch. So uh, also, I've got a couple of radio guys that that, that uh, we have a radio uh, program ourselves that we, we jump on once a week and, and talk about uh, gaming stuff. Uh, if that interests interest you or not. Um, as I said, or, or just jump onto Discord or TeamSpeak and, and uh, yeah, just hang out. It doesn't need to be uh, Warships. It can be uh, to any other game that you're interested in. If, you're in a if you are a, in a particular genre of game that you like, then uh, pretty well guaranteed that there is someone that uh, that plays that sa same sort of game. So uh, We're an Australian-based gaming community, uh, but we do have members from all over the world. So uh, even though that we are Australian-based, as I said, we're, we are represented in most countries not all but but most and um, so you have to excuse us if you if you're from uh, another part of the country we uh, we do talk funny so pre-warned we do have an australian accent so <laughs> you'll have to put up with that i'm afraid uh, but into the game here uh look uh i'm one two black swans we got a bougainville and a hurlman over there we just put. I just thought I'd stick with this black swan, considering our artillery is, is pretty ordinary. So, um, especially when we're on v, uh, four v four. So, uh, let's give people a, a bit of a shout out in game. You can see we have, do have an in game chat uh, on the left hand side of there. 
for those who have not played the the, the game before. Quite a, quite a pretty pretty game, fairly certainly detailed game. You can see a lot of detail in, in these islands that the, the devs didn't need to to, to put in. Just give you a bit of a panoramic of the of the seaside village there. Now, as I said, it is a, this is a, a tier one ship, so very basic modules at the moment. At the bottom uh, center of the screen, there you can see the we only got AP loaded. Uh, and you will see a bit later on where we'll be able to load either AP uh, or uh, or HE. And we also got an R button there, which is obviously R on your on your keyboard, which is your repair button. So if you're taking a lot of damage, then uh, then the uh, your repair button's the way to go. So, enemy force detected. Oh, enemy forces behind us. Let's go and pick a fight. <laughs> Bit of a slow game this one so far, and again, whoop. Danger close, where is he? There he is. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Oh, missed. Oh, got his citadel too. He's looking like that. He's down. Now, do we chase down this other guy, or do we take their flag? Bit of a unique bit a game. This particular one, as I said, you only got the four people in our in our um, on our team. But um, oh, look, it is what it is. But it's sometimes good just to pop down to those lower tier games and just just for giggles, just to uh, have a go at what everyone else is doing. And um, yeah, I wonder where the other guy is. This is quite a slow boat. We're only doing um, now 18 knots. So um, oh, that guy went down. Two v two. So a fairly close game, 2v2 at 260, uh, sorry 360 versus uh, 370, so um, I'll get back here and see if I can't reset this cap, that's sort of my plan at the moment. Let's zoom out, because as soon as he becomes visible, I would expect him about there somewhere. Just need one. There we go. Recap. Or reset, I should say. Now my detection should drop off as soon as I stop firing. Now a decision probably needs to be made whether we continue on and push this guy and try to uh, try to get him down or whether we uh, push onto their cap so look let's go for the kill
Now is he going to move forward or backwards? Now, which side of this rock's going to do? If you, if you go that way, I'll go this way and we'll uh, do the old pincer move. Oh, there he is. There we go. Enemy cruiser destroyed. As I said, very, very quick game. It's here one. Thank you very much for your company, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to it in the next one.